To finish out our show, Danny and Josh are back to announce the Heroes of the Week. With so many great games, we all want to know your picks. So, Danny, how about you start it off? Who do you got? Well, I got my ladies this week, and I am crowning Eastern's Elizabeth Collins as the girls' Hero of the Week. The Lady Eagles needed another player to step up and lead the team, and Collins did just that. Check this. Monday against Southern, Collins was the only Lady Eagle to make a basket in the first half, scoring all of Eastern's eight points. And she went on to help pull her team out of an 18-8 deficit at the end of the half. She rounded out the game with 12 points and six boards, and that momentum moved on to Thursday when Collins hit 10 points in their win over Miller. Got to say it, I do not expect Liz to slow down her role anytime soon. You know, it's true that the Eastern Eagles, they have a lot of offensive weapons, but surprise, surprise, so do the guys. They must be eating their veggies out in Reedsville because Dylan Swatzel has become a scoring machine for the Eastern boys, and that is why he is our hero of the week. In their first win on the road against Southern, Swatzel emerged as the offensive leader the Eagles have needed all season long. He dropped 21 points and grabbed five boards, and he took that ferocious play into Friday, where he led the Eagles to a double overtime win, 67-61 over Miller. He tallied 17 points, shooting 8 for 13 from the field, and he also scored the first four points in overtime. This is the first time in Coach Hill's tenure that the boys have won three straight games, and much of that credit goes to Swatzel. There are so many outstanding players in the TBC. We don't want to miss a beat. So we want you at home to have a voice in our weekly decision. If you see a heroic performance, tweet at us using the hashtag HOTW and we'll add them to our player of the week. Watch this. Guys, I can't wait to see who steps up next week. Thanks a lot and look forward to talking to you in the future.